Hello, Jeep Skaters. <clears throat> Welcome to another 12 days of stocking stuffers. Today, I'm going to make these really cute, so, so simple, absolutely fabulous nail file holders. Plops in, plops out. And it's long enough to take the beautiful big long nail file holders. This is one I just grabbed off my bedside table as I came racing out to do this video. So ignore the nail file holder. Alternatively, you've got a paper crafter on your list. A bone folder. A bone folder will fit in it too. Perfect little stocking stuffer gift. So what we're going to do is get started really quick and easy and minimal minimal supplies <laughs> you will need a piece of card stock now i am using the absolutely gorgeous i am in love with this paper pack it is called garden walk absolutely love it look at look at Look at that. Isn't it pretty? And what about this one, which I have used there? And then we've got this one. And then there's uh, this one. Oh my gosh. And I'm in love with it, I think, because one of the colours in it, look at that. See how pretty that turned out. Never thought that that colour, that wild wheat colour would, you know, appeal to me. But when it's used like that, I'm absolutely thrilled. And this one, folks, oh my gosh, I'm missing one. Here it is. Did I take that one out? No, look at that. So, all these papers, oh, I'm so in love with it. And if you are one of my Stampin' Up! Um, followers, because I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator too, you'll be able to follow along because I'm going to do another Use the Whole Paper Pack workshop. But these are the reverse. These are the flip sides. So any occasion, masculine, feminine, teenage, baby, whatever this paper is just gorgeous i have to decide which one i'm going to use to make this little nail file holder i have here poppy parade it's christmas it should be red and my all-time favorite stampin up color is mossy meadow <coughs> excuse my croaky voice and my rough nails i've been gardening um but Mossy Meadow, you'll need to go back and see why I became a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. It's all to do with Mossy Meadow. But I'm trying to decide which colour I think I like. I think I'm going to go Poppy Parade with that. Um, they coordinate, which makes it really easy if you're a bit colour challenged like I am. I think that looks really nice. So all we need to do, one piece of cardboard and you need to cut an A4 sheet to four centimetres. Now on my trusty, four centimetres, four centimetres. That's what it says on my book here. Or just checking, because you know, I've made a few, but who's to say? I'm not going to make a mess of it. Four centimetres by the length of your A4 piece of cardstock. Flip it over and we are going to score at 10 centimetres. Move, if you're using a stamp and trimmer, move the blade out of the way, line it up and score. And then all we're going to do is fold on that score line. Make sure it is nice and evil, even, evil, that's bad, isn't it? Put the paper trimmer away. We don't need that just at the moment. Burnish that fold. We want it to sit as flat as we can get it. 
okay that's pretty much your base what I've done with these is round the corners so in my corner rounder pop it in and I don't like the way that worked pop it in. Press. that sounds better much better pop it in line it up push yes and I'm going to do these edges too just a little consistency they look better I think <coughs> excuse the coughing box um there we go okay now to make this notch this divot here I am going to get a ruler maybe I'm going to get a ruler here we go I've got a ruler and I have a pencil I am going to measure down 2.5 centimeters from I've laid out flat for you so you can see it 2.5 centimeters from this short end okay so I'm put a big mark there you're not going to see it flip it around and 2.5 2.5 and there okay now <coughs> there's a couple of ways you can make these divots you can hand cut them or if you still have an envelope punch board um, whether it's a stampin up one or we are memory keepers or whatever the stampin up ones are no longer available sadly because it's so handy anyway take your envelope punch board line your mark up with that end of the little cutty thing push it right up and I have to stand up to do this so I can get some weight behind it so bear with me and cut and there's the divot rotate it and for this side line it up with that part of the go in line it up eyeball it and punch okay that creates the divot that's all you need to do if you've got an envelope punch board otherwise you can use a half circle punch or use a small circle punch and do a half circle to create a divot um, either a about a half inch would be okay circle punch or one inch is too big so a half inch circle punch would be perfect for that right now the three pieces to decorate what happened to the paper I'm going to use? That's the paper I'm going to use. So I need three strips. Bring back my uh, paper trimmer. This doesn't have a directional. If I was using this side, it's got a directional pattern. I'd need to cut accordingly. This one doesn't. So I need a piece three and a half centimeters wide so line it up on the three and a half mark three and a half mark there we go by ten and line it up okay keep that little piece and then I need another piece that is three and a half by six and a half now these are small pieces of paper so you don't need to cut into a new sheet of paper if you don't want to six and a half 
if you've got leftover bits of paper lying around in your scrap paper pile, use those. And you know, they don't even have to be the same. They can mix and match. And in fact, if you are using a coordinated range like the Garden Walk paper or any of the Stampin' Up! designer series papers, they're all coordinated. So they will mix and match quite beautifully. Just putting a plug in there, folks, for something that I absolutely love. Now, again, bring back my trusty corner rounder. And I'm going to round some corners. I rounded the corners on the base. So I want to round the corners on the mats so that they match. There we go. This one goes down here. This one goes down here. Alrighty. And this one round of these corners we only need it only needs to be about a centimetre and a half wide deep if that makes sense but we round the corners anyway there you go rightio one last little bit of trimming to do bring it over I like to use this side the gauge the measurements on this side on my trim up a little bit Slide it up one and a half centimetres. Done. That little square can go in my scrap pile. Rightio. We're nearly done. We are nearly done. What did I do with that little piece? Okay. I'm using wet glue. You can use whatever you like. I like my art glitter glue. Um, it's never let me down that it might tonight because I blew the lid off before um, come on. okay let's do this where's my mat because I'm using wet glue I will make a mess okay there we go it's a little thin thin bead of glue our glitter glue is really strong guys and you will find coming into summer that it is going to be thinner and runnier. Okay, pick that up. I should have some tweezers. Bring it over. Line it up so that it's got a... Oops, it's going to smoosh. A bit of a... Is that even? It is now. Okay. This little bit goes, hmm, needs to be trimmed down just a sliver. And I'm not even going to put it in the paper trimmer to do it. I'm going to go like that. Like that. Um, still. Okay. Where did I put it that way? Tiny, tiny little bit more to come off it, folks. And that's it. Cool. And then that bit goes there. Alrighty. So let's get some glue on this. Just a little. Not too much because we don't want it to smush out the edges. And line it up. And put it down. And we're going to pop this one. Some glue on this one. Hey. Now I'm going to smear some of that with my finger. I don't want it smooshing out. See what I mean about it being thinner in summer when it's warm? It's very warm here today. And move that down a bit. There we go. OK, 
Okay. Why? Just a little thin bead along the edge there to close it. And that's it. How easy was that? Now, I should have got some. Oh, this is the twine. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I need something else. I don't like that colour. Give me just a moment. Let me see what I've got in the ribbon. <coughs> Wrong colour. Wrong colour. I think I'd have at least a scrap of red ribbon or something here. Here we go. Here we are. Here's some red. Found some. Knew I'd have some somewhere. New packet. I haven't opened this yet. How cool is that? Uh, find the edge. This is, might be a bit dark. Oh, maybe not. This is real red. So it's slightly, <laughs> still in the red family, slightly different. I'm leaving it on the spool so because I'm going to tie a little bow but I'm going to do it this way because I'm working khaki handed. Okay, I am not a good bow tire so be patient with me. Good thing about this ribbon is it's actually double sided so there's no great drama if I don't get the loops exactly right and pushing it through there twist and pull is it something in the center twist and pull it's a little bit Anyone that's expert at bow tying, honestly. All right. And trim. And trim. And that's it done. That is your nail file pouch done. Now that's taken, well, with all my waffling and carrying on, it's taken 18 minutes. Um, so, hello. It doesn't take long, but how cute is it? And with the black nail file in it. Oh, my goodness. If I ever find the good ones. Did I not cut that properly? Let me cut that off. That's um, the nail file pouch done. How easy is that? If you want to, you can either stamp on the back, write on the back. You could cut a piece of white cardstock, stick it on with a stamp sentiment on it or a to and a from, whatever you like. But there you go. Three. Really easy, really quick. So cute. And they're just nice little stocking stuffers. I will put um, a link to the post on our website on Chief Skates Club website where you'll find all the information for this and I will include a link to my Stampin' Up store if you would be interested in purchasing any of the products and if you've got any questions of course contact us on the website or there's a contact us link below me here 
ask away. Happy to answer questions if I can. Okay, that is another 12 days of stocking stuffers. Cute little gifts done and dusted. Okay, thank you for sticking with me this far. If you like this video, a thumbs up would be very much appreciated. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, I would be honoured if you would subscribe. We talk about all sorts of things and cover all sorts of things. Not much is off topic on our channel. <laughs> and we're a really fun group of like-minded people. And if you know anyone who might like to make a nail file pouch, there's a share button. So send them the link to the video. Okay, I'll be back very soon with another Cheapskates Club video showing you how to save money, time and energy and perhaps even another 12 Days of Christmas stocking stuffer. But until then, guys, happy cheapskating.